हेलो गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू ड्रॉ लेआउट ऑफ वेरियस इमोस एंड एनमोस इन द माइक्रोमिन सॉफ्टवेयर सो लेट अस टेक एन एग्जांपल ऑफ द एनमोस इन्वर्टर एंड हाउ टू ड्रॉ इट्स लेआउट सो हियर इट इज एन एग्जांपल सो वी मस्ट सिलेक्ट द मेटल लेयर फॉर द सोर्स एंड द ड्रेन एंड द पॉलिश सिलिकॉन फॉर द गेट सो लेट अस ट्राई टू ड्रॉ द लेआउट इन द माइक्रोमिन सॉफ्टवेयर सो वी विल ओपन द सॉफ्टवेयर एंड इट विल अपीयर लाइक दिस सो इट विल अपीयर लाइक दिस as you can see so in this we must first adjust the length which is given on the top most left on the screen by zoom in and zoom out and we must adjust it to 5 lambda then we will select the layers that is given in the circuit first we will select the end diffusion layer and drag it on the screen then we will select the metal layer from the for the connection of the vdd to the nmos that is for the source and the drain we will always select the metal layer then we will select the polish silicon for the gate of the poly, for the gate of the nmos after that we will select the metal layer for the connection between the polysilicon and the metal here we will see we are drawing the layout of the this portion which is short so it will appear like this after that again we will select the metal layer for the connection of the nmos which is coming below the another nmos after that we will select the polysilicon layer for the gate of the second nmos at last we will again select the metal layer which is going to the ground that is connection for, which is going to the ground this is the metal layer for the ground that is the connection which is going up to the ground then we will give the contact for the layers which are overlapping we can select it in the palette box on the top here it's the layer of the polysilicon and the metal layer so we must click on that button and place it on the overlapping layers so we can see here on the top the contacts between the polysilicon and the different metals or we can say different diffusion layers so step by step you must give the contact between the all the overlapping layers so proceeding further after that we will give after that we will give input to the polysilicon that is uh, input to the gate and we will select the clock here and click it on the polysilicon layer and we will adjust the level voltage that is we will change it to 5 volts and click on the assign button see 
see I have changed it to 5 volts and I will click it on the assign button then we will select the visible node for the output of the NMOS visible node represents the output so again we will, you must click on the assign button so at last we must give ground to the last metal surface that is by selecting it in the pallet box see after that we will check in check it in the design check rule whether the layout is proper or not that is here we can see here and it is having error so we, we must rectify it if we are having error we must rectify it and run the layout so we are rectifying it so we have rectified it accordingly and after so we have rectified it and click on the run button here you can see the output so in this way we can can in the microwind software so thanks for watching thank you